Hello and welcome back to Underground Music Review. My name is Nilo and I'll be taking you through this tutorial on how this native door hack can imitate a grot box. You either know what a grot box is or you don't. If you do, great. And if you don't, well that's okay. I'm sure the saying you learn something every day will ring true here. A grot box is a slang term for a low quality speaker. A speaker you might find in an average car a shit pair of earbuds, some computer speakers, or maybe an old radio. Grot boxes were manufactured to simulate or mimic these low quality consumer products in professional studio environments like this. Studio engineers would verify the integrity of the mix using these grot boxes so when the track was released to the public it would sound good on a variety of consumer audio systems. The most common grot box for this job historically has been the Auratone 5C, dubbed Awful Tones or Horror Tones. I have a few different types of monitors varying in cost and quality for referencing my mixes. And of the three pairs of monitors I have, one set is of course the Auratone 5Cs, complete with a Crown D75 power amp to power them. Now these Auratones originally were passive speakers, but now they are powered so you can buy them just as one unit. Professional recording studios still have their place and are still widely used. The advances in recording technologies, however, created accessibility for recording music to the consumer. A home studio like this can use just a laptop, a pair of headphones, some software and samples, and hobbyist producers can make a track from start to finish mixed and mastered entirely on a computer. But taking a minimal approach to music production has certainly been revolutionary. Accessibility means less outboard gear and lower costs to the masses. It also means that producers can be mobile, and the growing gig economy now means producers can work remotely and not just in a dedicated music studio, their usual workflow. So this depends on two questions. How do I continue to reference my mixes on a budget and not have to buy a grot box? And if I usually reference on my grot box in my dedicated studio, how do I replicate this in the box and still reference my music as if I was checking my mix on a grot box? Well, that's easy. The answer is, simulate the grot box in the box. Okay, so step one, open up your door template and click on the master channel. Open up your audio effects or native plugins folder and find an EQ and drop it onto the master channel. Now, I'm an Ableton head, so for this I use the EQ8. Okay, so let's turn on number one. And let's uh, look at the filter selector here, um, at the mode, and select a high pass filter, which is here. Next, let's look at the frequency pot here. And as you can see, when we move this up and down, um, when we click and drag with our mouse on this pot, it'll actually um, roll the, the lows off and, and let the highs pass through the filter. So if we can roll it off to 230 hertz, um, that's what we're looking for. But sometimes you can't exactly get that. So I find the best way to do this is to click here and type in 230. Now what we need to do is click on uh, the selector number 8. And it should normally be um, on a, um, a low pass filter. Um, but if it isn't, uh, select this one here. Then what we need to do is um, roll this off to 2600 hertz or 2.6 kilohertz um, and basically that can be quite difficult to get as well. So for all intent and purposes just type in 2600 and there we have it. So I've got a track ready to go to demonstrate this grot box that we've just made in Ableton um, so you can see how you can reference um, music on it. So let's just zoom out and I'll show you this now. So let's turn off the grot box just for now and you can hear the track um, that we're going to be using.
Okay, so let's turn on the grot box now and you can see um, what it's going to do and how it might sound like a pair of earbuds, a computer speaker um, or a car stereo for instance. So now let's A and B this so you can get some kind of a, a reference between what it would normally sound like through good quality speakers um, and what it would actually sound like um, through a grot box um, or a lower quality um, set of speakers or earbuds. So there you have it, you've set up a grot box on the master channel. Now you can choose to map this to MIDI uh, or to key mapping, um, but we can show you that in another tutorial. Um, so do go and have a look around on the uh, Underground Music Review website and have a look at our other tutorials. Um, there will be others um, on referencing um, and also mixing as well in that regard. One last thing I, I recommend you do is actually have a look at naming this grot box. So then you can actually see what it is on the master. I'm a big fan of uh, labeling things. So just go to rename and just type in grot box. There, we're ready to go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.